the queen ant, and a beautiful butterfly. Wow! Oh. Let's get going, Ben. Okay. There are honey ants with different colors. The dark red colored ones store sweet honey. The lemon colored ones have sour honey. You can tell how it will taste by the color. That's what the book says. Let me see. Oh, they suck on fruit, so they become lemon colored or yellow, huh? That's why they're sour. Then I choose yellow. I want to have the sour honey. Sweet honey for me. Mmm! That's really good! I agree! It's very delicious! <laughs> you! What are you doing here? This will not do! Security! <laughs> Wait! We haven't done anything wrong! Who are you? Me? I'm the Queen Ant! Ha ha ha! How dare you look me straight in the eye! Get down on the ground! Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> the weather is perfect today. It's warm and dry and there's no wind. I should get ready for my nuptial flight. Nuptial flight? What? It means to fly across the skies to mint. You came to the insect world and you don't know that? Goodness gracious! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, when mating is successful, I dig a hole in the ground and lay eggs. And when I keep making eggs, we end up with more worker ants. Since I have to keep laying eggs, I have the longest lifespan. I can live about 5 to 10 years. What? That's it? Oh dear, what do you mean? Male ants live about 6 months and worker and soldier ants only about a year. Shish, I should go prepare now. So? Please leave our colony! Okay, okay. Bye, Queen Ant. <laughs> Cindy, there's a group of ants coming this way. What? They have really big jaws. It would really hurt if they bit me. Ben! Ah! <laughs> uh -huh. Termites? Didn't you hear? There was a famous temple that was damaged by termites. Oh, the pests that feed on trees because of a substance called cellulose. Cindy, where should we go now? We came from this side looking for honey ants. So maybe Dr. Brilliant's camp is that way? That way? This is fibrous tissue. This is bad. This is bad. Ben! Cindy! Ben! Cindy. Huh? What was that? What do you mean? That was the sound of you farting. No, <laughs> I think I heard someone calling for us. Who would call us? Oh, look! It's a butterfly! Where? Oh! Ah! That's cold! It's raining! Ouch! Cindy, these are hurt! They feel like rocks! Let's get away! Okay! Ah! Wait, Cindy! What about the butterfly? This is no time to care about the butterfly! I don't want to die because of rain! Come on! But what if the butterfly gets wet? <laughs> I'll be okay. What? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Thank you for worrying about me. But I'm okay in the rain. There are parts of my body covered in scaly hair and powder, so I don't get wet in the rain. 
You see, there are so many types of me around the world. There are about twenty thousand types known, and there are many different sizes depending on the type. I have a small head, but I drink nectar with this long straw-like tube. These are my antennae. My friends all have differently shaped antennae. Some look like clubs, others like hooks. Male are feather-shaped, and they are bigger than the females. The caterpillars that hatched out of the eggs have fairly developed mouths, and so they can feed on plant leaves, stems, or fruit. Some eat dead animals, wool, feathers, leather, leaves, or decayed matter. Usually, what the caterpillar eats helps them when they are butterflies too. Let me introduce my friends to you: lesser brimstone, peacock butterfly, common grass yellow, cabbage white, the summer winged butterfly, shrimp's emperor, tiger swallowtail butterfly. There aren't any insects in the bug kingdom that are more beautiful than us. <laughs> I need to go now. Bye. Okay. Oh, oh, Ben, run! Friends, please move the leaves and shield me from the rain. Oh, oh! Oh! Hooray! Oh! <laughs>